to me now. Madman know nothing. But you should have seen me. You should have seen how wisely I proceeded, with what caution, with what foresight, with what dissimulation I went to work. I was never kinder to the old man than during the whole week before I killed him. And every night about midnight, I turned the latch of the door and opened it oh so gently. And then when I had made an opening sufficient for my head, I put in a dark lantern, all closed, closed, and no light shone out. And then I thrust in my head. Oh, you would have laughed to see how cunningly I thrust it in. I moved it slowly, very, very slowly, so that I might not disturb the old man's sleep. It took me an hour to place my whole head within the opening so far that I could see as he lay upon his bed. Would a madman have been so wise as this? And then when my head was well in the room, I undid the lantern cautiously, oh so cautiously, cautiously, for the pages creaked. I undid it just so much that a single thin ray fell upon the vulture eye. And this I did for seven long nights, every night just at midnight. But I found the eye almost closed, and so it was impossible to do the work. Well, not the old man that vexed me, but his evil eye. And every morning when the day broke, I went thoroughly into the chamber, and spoke courageously to him, calling him by name in a hearty tone, and inquiring how he has passed the night. So you see, he would have been a very profound old man indeed to suspect that every night just at twelve I looked in upon him while he slept. Upon the eighth night, I went into the Of my own powers, of my simplicity, I could scarcely contain my feelings of triumph to think that here I am, opening the door, little by little, and here I am, even dreaming of my secret deeds and thoughts. I fairly chuckled at the idea, and perhaps you heard me, for he moved out of bed suddenly as a startled. And you may think that I did not, but no. This room was as black as the nature of thick darkness, and the shutters were very fast and the fear of others. And so I knew that he did not see the opening of the door, but I kept pushing it on steadily, steadily. I had my head in, was about to open the lantern when my thumb slipped upon the tin fastening, and the old man sprang up in bed crying out, Who's there? I kept quite still and said nothing. 